What's going on, everybody? I'm going to be uh, kind of making breakfast. My grandpa made breakfast this morning. He already made the bacon for me. He tried to make his homemade biscuits, which I'll talk about in a minute. Whatever, I just put it on the plate because uh, they look okay, but they're... I, don't know, I can't really show you. I I'll show you in a, in a little bit, but... I had frozen ones in the freezer that you probably didn't, he didn't know it was there or overlooked them or something, whatever. But at least I got the uh, ones that are nice and soft and I kind of overcooked them, but that's because the oven, the way the oven works. And there's already a gravy he already made. I doctored it up. I'll talk about that a little bit too. And then I'm going to make some uh, scrambled eggs with cheese. So let's get this video started. Oh, and it's not really a cooking video and it's not really a food review. It's just a mixed bag of a little bit of everything, I guess. All right, here's the gravy he made. I thinned it out, and I'll, I will warm it up, but it's, it's pretty good thickness. But he pretty much makes like a milk gravy. It's just flour, bacon fat. Cook, he cooks it and adds milk and then calls it gravy. I added some hot pepper flakes, pepper, salt, sage, fennel seeds. Uh, I thinned it out because the way he likes it, it's like real thick. You, you, you would able to take the spoon and turn it upside down and it would literally stay like Elmer's glue paste. But I will warm this up because it's cold. And he tried to make biscuits, but they're, they're not edible. He tried. Biscuits are hard to make. I can't even make biscuits. If I would have made biscuits, it would have been that way too. Anyway, so. But I am going to save the bacon though. Bacon looks pretty good and crispy. I have to warm that up a little bit in the microwave though. Because it's not warm anymore. But besides that. Trusty pan that sticks. Making scrambled eggs. So I do need a bowl to put eggs in. need a fork to mix them in with. I had some mild cheddar to put in it. That's towards the end though, when I'm scrambling the eggs. This burner's not on, otherwise I would never do, never do that. Oh yeah, you can crack on the side of the bowl, but I find the fork is easier. And I'm not good doing the whole one hand either. I see his eggs are being a pain today. And then sometimes, they don't crack or crack open, you use the fork to break the shell and the uh, membrane. Makes it easier to open, for me anyway. So, so you just beat your eggs. You know, you can beat them as far as that, or you can keep going until they're completely mixed the way I like it. I can turn the stove on. I don't know, it's at number seven. So I'm gonna let this pan heat up and be back. All right, the butter I'm using today is uh, European style. It's like 85% butter, which is a good kind. It wasn't cheap, but sometimes it's worth getting good butter. We don't use it that often, so, or buy it that often. That's what it looks like. Now this butter does burn a easier, so make sure your pan's not up too much. And it might not seem like a lot of butter, but you don't need that much butter of this. Hopefully it's not too hot. Yeah, kind of is. Take it off the heat. Move it around. And make sure this pan is covered, because the last time I made a video, eggs stuck to it in the corner. Didn't really ruin the video, but the butter's already starting to turn brown. No eggs instantly. I did add an extra egg. So instead of two eggs, I get three. And rinse that out. Don't leave that in there. 
Otherwise, it won't come clean. All right, I'm gonna heat it back up a little bit because eggs are cold. And you're not gonna add your cheese quite yet, but you just put your eggs in there, take a spatula, mix it up, keep it fluffy. You know, I'm not making fancy eggs, and I'm not doing the whole Gorms and Ramsey, whatever. I like my eggs cooked all the way through. And probably at this point, you should add your cheese or any other toppings that you want in it. And make sure your hands are clean before you get inside the cheese bag or just play it safe and just dump it out of the bag and I'll close it in later. So just mix this up, keep stirring, chopping. And I like my eggs cooked all the way. Make sure this cheese gets melted too. It should. Is it stuck? Nope. Not today. I you know, kind of flip it over. I like a little bit of caramelized on the eggs. I kind of leave it whole, but I chop it up. Oh, my eggs are done. Sure it doesn't stick. One more flip. Man, I'm not putting it on the coil, but put that there. And there's my scrambled eggs. I let those cool off as like super hot. Turn your stove off. Take the pan off the stove. I don't know if you can hear all that. The pan, the coil almost had got something on it, but I'm just gonna warm this up. That's all I gotta really do. It's already well, it's kind of thick. Some people might like it this way, but I'm just taking a chill off of it so I can put it on my biscuits. And then since I'm doing all this scrambled eggs, warming this up, my biscuits are probably cold. So I'm probably gonna have to throw those in the microwave to warm those up, but that's no big deal. So yeah, I just gotta make sure you stir this. You don't wanna burn it. This is like leftover breakfast gravy from this morning. You know, it's not been sitting too long, but. So all you gotta do is warm this up and then you can add more water to either more water or milk to either thin it out if it gets too too thick and then obviously cook it longer if you want it super thick that's kind of why i like my gravy S semi watery semi thick so i'm just gonna warm this up and uh, i'll be back to uh plate it up and right, here's my scrambled eggs Close up shot of it. It's pretty good, nice and cheesy. You can see all the cheese in there. Did my way of the bacon to get it more crispy. Butter up the biscuits. Nice and fluffy. And I got uh, some pineapple and some juice. And then, I know it's not really orange juice, but uh, at full throttle for a drink. Kind of orange flavored. I don't have any orange juice right now. So uh, let's get this on a Let's put this on a tray. All right, nice. I'm gonna scramble with eggs, and two biscuits, and bacon, pineapple, got my spoon, drink on the corner. Only thing that's missing is I gotta break up my biscuits. I guess you can do it by hand. Um, I know, it should be nice and soft. Oh, look at that, like really soft. It's a little crispy, but, but ooh, these are so hot from the microwave. I'm burning my fingers a little bit. I'm gonna break this up. Ow. The gravy, if you let it sit, it will get a skin, but if you mix it up really well, you won't notice it. It'll dissolve. Nice and warm. So one thing I do like about the uh, 
electric stove. Coil stays hot for a while. So here's the gravy. All right, and I got plenty of biscuits and gravy and stuff for later. Of course, I don't know if I'll save this gravy, but it's kind of hard to save gravy. All right, get this drink opened up. That's just a energy drink. Can't remember who makes it. I think it's Coca-Cola that makes it. You believe? Easy drinking, 230 calories. Has your vitamins and minerals in it. Vitamin three, six, twelve. Vitamin B5. I don't think there's ginseng or anything or taurine, all that other stuff in it. Full throttle citrus blast. I think it's like 160. They, they all run about 160. Unless it says, I think if it's over 200, I think they have to mark it on the label. So. Oh, nice hiss and then a little bit of crack. It's pretty good. There. I know you don't have to mix it, but I don't know. I don't know. Not really much of a start of a show, but I guess I can try it out with the biscuits and gravy. Try a little bit. Make sure I get a little bit of gravy. It's probably hot. It's been sitting on the stove for a while. Close-up shot. Try not to spill it. it. Looks pretty good. Mm. I did taste the gravy prior before me doctoring it. It has a really nice kick to it. Good flavor. Biscuits are nice and soft and fluffy. Here's the biscuits that I use. They're frozen, great value. You have 20, uh, 20 biscuits in there. It's a uh, value pack. I put the screen or the price of, of this item on the screen. It's spoon clean. I can get these eggs and try out the great value, everything pretty much, besides the energy drink and then. Actually, I think the pineapple is a great value, too. But you can see, it's nice and fluffy. Cheesy eggs. Hmm. Wow. Nice and soft, fluffy. 85% butter really makes a difference. It's not just like pure, well, it's pure butter, but it's, uh, the butter, buttermilk salads are not there. Not that much anyway, like 5%. Which makes, it makes a good scrambled egg. Mm. This is a uh, rate value, re reduced sodium bacon. I think it's not thick cut. It doesn't really look like it. Like really thin. It says it's curly. It's a little greasy, but when you hear that crunch, I just wash this bacon down with some full throttle. Oh, I haven't had this in a long time. It's only a dollar, I think, eighty-seven. They don't quote me on all the prices, but I'm 
pineapple and it's pineapple juice. It's not all pineapple juice. I was afraid it wouldn't fit in here. A little bit of pineapple. Good for you. Vitamin C. Mm. So far, I'm liking all of this. It's pretty good. Pretty good, uh, somewhat balanced breakfast. Hopefully you guys can see me and the food to get the best angle possible. So, uh, again, this is biscuits and gravy. Well, it's not, it's biscuits and gravy. You want to call it sausage and gravy, but there's no sausage actually in it. Hmm. I usually typically like scrambled eggs more than fried eggs. Or they actually have all the stuff to actually make a uh, like a Western style omelet. I would go with that. Wow, it's really good. Usually, I don't do biscuits and gravy. I do they just stick with uh, your standard breakfast items with bacon. Mm. No, I don't know hot sauce. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on the eggs, but I already had spicy food in the last couple of days. I don't need any more spicy food. going on. Got it down to like 40 degrees last night. It's already warming up already. And back in the 70s. But going from 40 to 70 makes it like a big difference. Scrambled eggs. Mix it in with the uh, biscuits and gravy. Kind of like make your own like little, I don't know, breakfast sandwich on your own. Maybe I can throw some bacon on it. I'll throw a piece of bacon on it. For much of everything besides pineapple, I'm not putting pineapple on biscuits and gravy. That would be nasty. Well, the reason why I put uh, cheddar cheese in my eggs, I'm not really a fan of eggs that much. I don't, I don't like the, like the after sulfur stuff that goes on in your stomach and stuff, but that's why I like having stuff actually in my eggs, peppers, onions, you know, bacon, ham, cheese, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, powder, and all that stuff, you know, I mix it up. Once in a while. I should cook my eggs a little bit longer. Wait, I'm trying to get the video done. Not really in a hurry, but I'm also hungry. You, you come in and you got briskets and gravy sitting out on the counter on the stove. So I fixed it up and made it my own. I know that's what you got to do. I do that with uh, buffet sometimes. I take their stuff and 
make my own little dish since I don't have it there. My gravy, you know, thickened up really nice. It's not really watery or soupy or anything, but it's not Elmer's glue either. Now, bacon always seems to be dry when you cook it really crispy. Usually that's why I don't make it extra crispy because for that reason. And I wash it down with a uh, full throttle. <sighs> the bald eagle on there. Pretty cool, lightning. I used to try to be like the, you know, freedom, freedom bird, which is good. I was like, in your drinks, not all the time, but I have the citrus ones. I was never a fan of like Monster or Red Bull or anything like that. Because I was able to get gravy on my spoon. <clears throat> all right. Kind of getting full, actually. It's like a lot of food. You know, it's like two biscuits, gravy, three eggs. I think I can try some of the pineapple on camera. Kind of like a dessert for breakfast. good all right get a little bit of eggs left let's finish this off real quick a lot of food i wasn't expecting to eat all this but it's pretty good I think I kind of overdid it on the pepper. This gravy is like really super like pepper heavy. Not just like black pepper, it's the pepper flakes that I put in it to make it like sausage. It's so good though, but. Last bite of uh, a little bit of egg and biscuits and gravy. Last piece, come on. Two pieces of bacon left.
it's nice and cold. <clears throat> wow. Here's my vocal cords again. I'll take some of this uh, bacon. That's some bacon bits to the pineapple. That's something different. Figure they put pineapple and bacon on pizza. Why couldn't you do this? Let me get all the crumbs. Mix that around. And you see the pineapple juice is already changing into a different color. Let that marinate for a little bit. I should I should have done that. Should add the pineapple to it to make it a little bit different. I'll soften up the bacon a little bit. I, I can't wait too long for this bacon, so let's give this a try. See if it's actually any good. The energy drink has a lot of carbonation to it, so my bad. Hmm. That's a good flavor. Smoky for this. I don't know if I would do this all the time, but not bad. Final last bite. Can't waste it. You can't waste liquid, so. And I'm done. Well, still got the energy drink to go, but it's not good to slam energy drinks. So uh, join me next time for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You never know what I'm going to eat or review. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for, uh, for all the super chats. And all the well wishes. Peace out.